What's up, sports bettors? We are going through the best promos and same game parlays for today, and we're going to be looking at the Lightning Avs game one in Colorado. So, in Colorado, and DraftKings has an NHL risk free same game parlay. So, pretty simple you place a three leg same game parlay, your first bet. If you lose, you get your money back. It's pretty simple. You put three legs together. If you lose, you get your money back in the form of a free bet, and then you can just head over to the Odds Jam free bet converter tool under betting tools. So if we just you know go ahead from the EV page, we can head over to the free bet tool, which will show us how to convert our free bet into risk-free profit. So if I go to my bets, we'll, we'll go through what I went with. So essentially, what I'm rolling with is abs minus two and a half, on the puck line, which I really like game one in Colorado, um, Tampa Bay had a sluggish start against New York. I think it'll be the same um, playing in Colorado. Over seven and a half goals and an odd number of goals in the first period. And again, you can use odds jam to squeak out value in all these puck lines um, and all the picks you want to go with because you obviously want to maximize value. So essentially, if this bet loses, if any pick in my same game parlay loses, I get back my free bet. I go over to the free bet converter tool, free bet conversion tool right here. And then we just say, okay, I got my free bet on DraftKings. And what the software will calculate in real time, literally scanning all of these markets for you, alternate spreads, totals, player props, odds jam is just designed for you to show you the best free betting opportunities, right? So it will show you, hey, the best free betting opportunity in the state you're in with the sports books you know you have in your settings you can get a 71.26% conversion rate which essentially means you can convert your $10 free bet into $7.13 of risk free profit right you put your $10 free bet always on what's plus money in this case the Seahawks and then you know you hedge 2387 on the other sports book here we can see it's FanDuel on the 49ers so of course you may be like, why would I want to go all the way out to September when I can take one in June, which you can obviously do as well. And depending on what state you're in, of course, you know, these opportunities may vary. If you're in a state with more sports books, or you have more books available to you, you can see, wow, here are some 77.37% free bet conversion uh, opportunities. So that's the pick I went with, abs minus two and a half, over seven and a half goals, and um, an odd number of goals in the first period. Now let's go to the second promo, which is also really, really good, and we're gonna run through the math very briefly. It's on FanDuel, it's called NHL First Goal, goal Insurance. So you place a pre-live straight 25 plus goal score wager on game one of the Stanley Cup, and you'll get $5 in free bets. So again, you can use this free bet conversion tool, just switch to FanDuel. So again, you're gonna get $5 in free bets for each goal your player's team scores. So if we go over to hockey, the first question is, what player should we bet on? So the abs are favored, right? The abs are favorites in this game, which means they're projected to score more goals, right? The best odds on the abs is minus 153 on Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest bookmaker. Getting lightning plus 145 right now is actually a little bit of decent value right now on win bet. But regardless, that's not the point. The abs are favored which means, of course, they're projected to score more goals, right? Like you can see sportsbooks are setting the Tampa Bay Lightning, their team total market, this is the team total market, at two and a half, right? They're projected to score less goals than the Avalanche, who sportsbooks are setting at three and a half, right? So, of course, if the Avalanche are projected to score more goals and you're getting $5 in free bets for every goal your team scores, you want your team to score more goals. So long story short, from a mathematical perspective, it makes sense to bet on a player for this promo on the abs, right? That's what makes sense mathematically. So we'll go over to first goal score, and I'm just going to go with McKinnon because why not? So now we have a bet placed for this game. Right, let's go. We went ahead and we locked it in. $25. If the Avs score four goals, I get a $20 bonus from FanDuel. If they score one goal, I get a $5 bonus. If they score five goals, I get a $25 bonus. Right, all in free bets. So you can see right here, there are some high free bet conversion opportunities from Odds Jam, really constantly scanning these markets for you to show you the best opportunities for free bets, as well as you know positive EV bets, mathematically profitable bets, like you can see right here. But anyways, what we can do is we can quantify this mathematically. So if the abs team total is set at over under three and a half, 
juice towards the under, we can say, you know, maybe sportsbooks are projecting roughly the Avs to score 3.25 goals, right? Because it's slightly juiced towards the under. Maybe the Avs are like 3.25. That's their expected, you know, over a large number of simulations. That would be the average number of goals that Lightning would score, um, that, the, that the Avalanche, I apologize, would score against the Lightning in game one. So if we go back here, you can see the Avs average number of goals, I'm going to estimate at 3.25 because sportsbooks are setting it the over under at three and a half, but it's juiced towards the under. So we just take that down a bit. Maybe this is an estimate. So we're getting a $5 bonus per goal, right? So we're expecting a $16 free bet on average, right? Of course, on average, the Avs can't actually have 3.25 goals. We're expecting a $16 free bet on average, but if the Avs score five goals, you know, we get you know, whatever, $25 in free bets. So if we go back here, you know, we can look at free bet conversion, you know, rates. So what can we get actually for our free bet if we wanted to convert it into profit risk-free? And you can see it's like 86, you know, you can get some around 84%, like it really depends, but you can typically pretty easily on FanDuel be able to get above 80%. So maybe we actually change our free bet conversion rate to 80%. So what this means is essentially if you had $20 in free bets, you could convert it into $16 in risk-free profit, right? $20 in free bets, free bets are inherently worse than, than you know, cash because you don't get back your stake if your bet wins. Um, so long story short, they're worse than cash. So usually you can get 80 cents on the dollar, which would make the value of this promo you know, $13, right? This number is just the AVS number of total goals times the value, you know, what the bonus you're getting per goal. So we're getting $16 in free bets, which is worth, you know, 16 times 0.8, 80 cents on the dollar is worth $13 in promotional value. Of course, we're placing a bet in a market with a lot of vig, a lot of juice, right? Sportsbooks like to juice these markets, right? Which is why they offer promos on them. They're trying to get you to start betting on first goal scores. So let's say the market has a really high hold, which is probably accurate. It's probably between 20, 30%. Let's say it's 25%. We're staking $25, so we're losing 25 times 0.25, right? This is the expected return, right? We're losing $6 to the VIG or to the juice. So we have $13 in value from the free bets, just using the ABS team total, which you can you know, see on Odds Jam, just what is the real-time market data implying the ABS average number of goals um, should be in this game. We're staking $25 into a market with a hold of 25%, so a negative expected return of negative 25%. Um, so you typically won't see these bets, right, on the odds jam positive EV page. That would be very rare. You're not gonna see many, you know, markets with holds like 20%. That's why it's harder to find value in futures markets. So anyways, we're losing $6 to the VIG, you know, but we're gaining $13 from the value of the promo, right? From the expected number of goals the abs are gonna score and the bonus FanDuel is gonna give us. So in total, this promo is worth about $7, right? We have the $13 in promo value minus the $6 we're losing from the VIG, staking 25 bucks into a market with a hold of 25%. So long story short, the, the EV in dollars is seven bucks and we're staking only 25, so we can back out our edge of this promo is 27%, roughly. Of course, these are all estimates, but should be pretty accurate. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, feel free to book a call with a sports betting expert. We're happy to talk about promos, really whatever's most helpful for you, and let's make some money.